Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. You're here with me, your Birdman, and we are continuing our run on Alan Wake. The first one, the original, not the remaster, in case anyone was wondering. We're going to dive on into the game's episode three and try to get our wife back from whoever or whatever has taken her. Let's do it. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan. tell anyone except my agent Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? <laughs> you could probably hear me know. shuffling my setup person. around there. <laughs> I told you you were too hard. I was trying to be quiet. Listen, I found uh. out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have Don't FBI you want to hear here. what He's Barry has to say? FBI. Oh, okay, so I guess the kidnapper was a nightingale. Okay. I don't know why I thought the FBI agent was kidnapping our wife. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. Nice girl, kind of dumb, possibly possessed. I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. We don't need to jog. He's He's hobbling. I'm saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird can't jump stuff either. from the local newspaper's archives. Okay, we're going to let him get this ahead of us. This is crazy disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. Real quick, is there the anything to pick up over here? The doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an <laughs> Be nice, Barry. there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single windshield thing cleaner, wrote. just sitting Zane out on the porch. Heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Divers Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Not totally sure that makes sense, but you know what? If Barry says it's true, then it must be true. Taking a peek in the bushes on the off chance I missed a collectible back here. Come you know, on, the thing I said I wasn't going to do. Collectible hunting. Trailer. I'm coming! <laughs> That's fine, Randolph. You take your time. Yeah, how about that? Hey, a boat. It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. <laughs> but it would take a tornado to lift Foreshadowing. Like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Oh, Randy's dogs. Hello, can I have hot dog? Randy, open. You're Randy, right? Randolph, could you open open the hot dog truck? Randolph. Hot dog, chili dog. Oh, he spells it with a W. This is where Carl was trying to send Just us. Follow me. It's not far. Why is the Belly Burster fifteen ninety nine? What comes on that? Ooh, clam chowder. What's a sparkling river special? Do I want to Listen, know about that? All do, right. Don't run itself. I just wanted a hot dog, man. Come on, Randolph. I got things to do. My wife ain't gonna rescue herself. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, <laughs> I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. 
Bag ladies aren't necessarily homeless, Randolph. Before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Can I push him? Can I just push him to go faster? Come on, Randolph. Hello, mister. This here's Rose's no. trailer. I like this, though. You mind me asking what you want <laughs> with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. She's my biggest fan. Can we get behind her uh, little house here? No. Eh, you know, thought I might have missed a thermos or something. Alright, alright. Hmm, hole in the porch, not a good sign. Windshield cleaner on the porch, seems to be a local tradition. Alan Wake gently tapping the door with his fingers. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, <laughs> I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Looking a little shadowy there, Rose. Oh, so have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Does nobody notice that she's not right? Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry... She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! Barry, no! What? You know, it's their own fault for not realizing she was a little screwy. Wake, you idiot. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Madam, get out of my subconscious, please. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Ah! Uh, wake, what did you do? Over. Only anger kept me going. Ah! I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary. I mean, same, but. Me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate <laughs> it, but I know she's right. Maybe you're just a lousy writer. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances. Thomas Zane. Worked with, held hostage, what's the difference? Shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. That's a medicated by hate? Ah, yes, right. Okay, then. That's probably fine. She's got multiples of the plush mammoth. Huh. Rose took a day from ah, me. Barry. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kid. You drunk? All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Cooking with corn? 72 tasty recipes? Welcome take that, take that. Oh dear diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. 
first okie dokie what do you mean first refill is free Barry was out of it he was way too heavy what to kind carry. of diner doesn't do bottomless coffee all right well we're just gonna leave them both here then That's right, Barry, you tell him. What's with this door? Like, I can forgive the fact that the rest of it is made out of corrugated aluminum, but what's with that door? Ooh. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Barry will be fine. Uh, let's see. Episode three. Randolph calls the police. Oh, I'm missing a few pages. Ugh. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writers. <laughs> what does he think they're getting up to in there? Looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Maybe they're just having a good time in there, Randolph. She's a big fan. Okay, so I guess we have to uh, go back out the way we came in. Oh, radio. Okay, I guess we have to activate it from down here. I just stepped outside. What you got for us, Martin? Fresh air. Let me tell you. The weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. Things rough oh, with the wife? Tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. Yep, sounds like marital just troubles. Me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either. It's weird how well, sober all the local nut jobs are. man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny. You know, Danny. Hang up on him, Pat. Hang up on him. Tower thinking the same thing. Was Walt the drunk that we turned a light on for in the last episode? You know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, Walt, uh, maybe. No, that thanks, Pat. Uh, well, <laughs> good luck to you, Walt. Best of luck, Walt. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to accept copyright restrictions on this entire series. Although my Bioshock series wasn't totally restricted, and that had tons of copyrighted music in it. Oh, you're going to get it now. Randolph, what do you think we were doing in there? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. My, my name's Wake. I think Hemingway's dead. Spillane. <laughs> Guy's got bullet time. Oh well, this is by the Max Payne people. What are? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. An excellent point, Randolph. Don't sell them any hot dogs. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Best of luck, Barry. No, do your jobs. Move 
there were any number of better ways they could have approached this. <laughs> they don't see me down here. Let's hide under that rickety bridge. No! think he did yeah I guess I don't really have any commentary to offer on this part but look there's another page Picked it up. Thank you, Wake. Oh no, spookies are happening. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep <laughs> sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Is the monster actually just the artistic vision? Maybe there's a monster in all of us. Whoa. Oh good, the shadow's on our side. Have a gun we can take? Is there a gun in the car? Oh, wait. Don't tell us how to do our job. Do it. Make an appointment. I would love to see a small town sheriff arrest an FBI agent. Hello. I don't suppose... I think that was one of the ones I was missing. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Good, he tried to murder us. Is there any reason to go down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Checkpoint reached. No, the checkpoint's up there. Interesting. Is there just a line drawn on the map? Weird. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's a checkpoint down there, too. Okay, good to know. Drop hazard. Who's shooting at what? Oh, that, they'll, they're shooting at the shadows, obviously. Or, hear me out, give up and go home. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure that's fine. They'll be okay. Let's uh, get off this bridge immediately. Uh-oh. I lost 
This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The <laughs> it's Wake's doing. <laughs> they were after a rider, not a monster. What's wrong with my jacket? No, it's not the jacket. It's the fact that he's wearing at least four layers. Wait, those were the sheriff's deputies that shot at us? I expect that from the outsider, but the locals? Ah, you can't trust anyone. Ooh, helicopter. Can't wait to see what the shadow does with that. Where, where is it? There it is. Hello. Ooh, I'm taking cover. You on the ground. Hold it right there. There's nowhere to run. Ah, uh, jokes on you. Oh, okay. It's all right. My friends have my back. See. Birds can be trusted. Well, come on. Yeah. <laughs> That'll teach you to try to take me into custody. Firewatch. Long-time viewers know I love Firewatch Towers. For no particular reason, I just think they're neat. This one's a little sparse. Okay, wait, what is... is that... The gas station? Hmm. Is there anything else to see out here? Loose searchlight over there. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that's where we're heading. That's pretty far away. That can't be the same gas station. Ooh, hello. There's another one over here. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Ah. Pat Milton? That's his name, right? Alright, let's go inside see if there's anything we can use in here. Uh, there's not much of anything. <laughs> I can't even tell what this is. Oh, it's a map this is a little sparse uh, this is Jane Mulligan Thornton come in over uh, Thornton here uh, Jane we got both Wheeler and Rose <laughs> in custody <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything why they were hey Mulligan what you <laughs> come on sit down and give me that Jane Mulligan does anybody notice Mulligan. there's something very wrong oh, with them both uh, we got Wheeler. Okay, Wheeler thank you. Here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whip of old scotch about him, you know what I mean? Over. You also sound uh, drunk, my friend. I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. <laughs> anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Thank you. Over. <laughs> gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. This is, um, kind of an interesting bedspread. <laughs> I mean, all right. Okay, let's get down from here. And we'll wander... Off into the woods again. Do we go through here? Yes, good. Oh, the I gate imagine closes that the behind us. Tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. 
Perhaps at Maine. Access to the coal mine. Who's Milton? Uh oh. Can we? Natural shadows clung can we go through here? The darkness that was nope. In fact, it, it it hurts us to touch it. We're gonna need a flashlight, or this random searchlight. Let's see, we probably need to uh, turn this on. Yep, exactly three easy pulls. This perfectly reliable folk engineered gas generator. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Do I just have to be faster? Well that's not give it a kick. His legs are so strong. Oops. Okay, let's move it this time, I guess. This is like artillery for this. Got it! Can we take this with us? Oh. is with all the hiking trails around here. But we'll just see about this. Look, a flashlight sitting here on. How nice, it's one of those rechargeable ones that are ubiquitous in this part of Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, anything in the car? Did you drop a gun we it can take? Flashbangs? <laughs> That'll work. An ideal weapon for my situation. One, come in. Over. I, uh... I don't think they're here anymore. You're going to have to recruit a whole new sheriff's department. Pick up the radio, Wake. Talk to her. She'd probably be relieved to know that you're alive, actually. No, you back up. Here you go. <laughs> now we've only got a few of those, so we'll mostly want to avoid combat, I think. Can we just bushwhack there? Yeah, I hear I hear the incoming. There there it is. Now did that sheriff's deputy bring his own hatchet or was he issued that by the department? Could you stop throwing those at me, sir? No, he has really good aim. As long as we're in the light, he can't hurt us. Where'd they go? I guess they disappeared because we went into the light. And here's another call. You're on KB Batteries? With Pat, May. Pat Main, okay. Milt Peabody, Pat. Milt Peabody, that's who I'm thinking of. There's Milton. Sure, we're actually in the light. Oh, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on? Do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a uh, helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Oh, it must be that writer again. Maybe not the parties you go to. I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. 
Nope, stop that. Flee, flee! Oop. Excuse me, gents. There you go. That's fun. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no! Pretty sure I uh, keyed up the dodge there at the right moment. Oh, good, it restarts the music. Okay. Okay, so we know there's a big one coming in from our left there. We'll immediately drop a grenade. And another. You down yet? I think he's down. Okay, we're good. Should really save our sprint for when we need it. Since Wake has such pathetic endurance. You back up. Nope, oh, that one's a little far away. Let's just keep moving for now. Alright, here you go. More grenades, please. Here's a question. Why does the uh, Deerfield... No, pardon me. Where's Deerfield? Why does the Bright Falls Sheriff's Department have so many flashbangs? Where did the FBI issue those? <sighs> okay, wow, they're getting really good with those axes. Just start tossing grenades everywhere. Really wish I had a gun. Ha <laughs> Gotcha! No. Can I... Okay, great. And then he just I goes away. I could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. You know, not for nothing, Wake, but there might be more important things going on here than your kidnapped wife. The Night Owl. So who's the early bird, then? Here? Oh. Oh. Of course, if we're here, doesn't that put Pat in, like, extreme danger? He's trying all the doors in the place. You can stop playing that copyrighted music. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Oh, by the way, there's stuff going on. Open fire, Agent! Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a Shoot him! There. Arrest him! Do something! you stop naming authors off so many cliffs it was ridiculous that's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop it was probably good i hadn't had the chance to tell maine where i was going i'd have to lose the cops and find my own way hmm, to the mine a train a eh? that could be useful also that abandoned shack but first this sarah trusted her gut and her gut <laughs> Sarah said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. She doesn't like the guy who keeps she shooting at all of her townsfolk. And it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? 
What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. <laughs> Does he work for the Bureau of Control? Flares? Gib gun, please. Okay, there they are. Okay, we're gonna sprint down here, light a flare. Turn this on. Two, three. Get into the light. Hey, a gun. Okay, are they still coming? No. I don't know why they just go away <laughs> when we hit these checkpoints. Seems like they might want to lurk outside the light, wait for us to leave safety. There's something over there, but we're about to get jumped again. Yep, there we are. Yeah, I see you. I see all of you. Crud. Nope, back it up. I'm having a really bad night here, fellas. <laughs> Not this time, my friend. However, we probably should try to conserve ammo. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. <laughs> that seems awfully convenient, Mr. Wake. Flashbang, more bullets. The darkness controls the Taken. I feel like we didn't need to be told that. Oh, here they come. Oh boy, hang on. Oh. Ow! Drop, drop the flashbang! Drop the flashbang! Drop it! <laughs> Whoop! Any more? I think maybe we were supposed to use these. To, uh, to fight those guys, but um, well, they were all kind of there inside the shack with us, you know? <laughs> Let's see, did I already check over here? Yeah, yeah, I know there are more of them coming. I think there's an achievement for knocking over all the stacks of cans. Here, I'll... Oh. Do one just so you can uh, take delight in that. There you go. Well, looks like there's something up there. The pipe <laughs> wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel frame. Foreshadowing! In darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. He's even making the architecture angry now. <laughs> Is it gonna come from? Hang on, hang on. We have reading material. Settle down there. I 
slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. That's I bet I had a pretty messed up, Wake. Face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. That's pretty messed up. Train. Can we please get on the train? Or fight the train, either way. Barry? Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. That's not Alice. That's not really Alice. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. They've the gotten to her. had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. Oh, she so this you notice. But she had called me. Rose is whacked out of her gourd, and you just accept it as normal. But your wife wax is a little poetic, and you're like, hmm, this doesn't sound right. Anyway, there's loot in here. Good stuff, good stuff. Yes, please. All the ammo, all for Wake. Anything behind this? No, alright, there was a page back there. <laughs> you almost had me. Another one on our left. Ah! Nice Adidas sweatsuit, my friend. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab the rest of that ammo. Let's see, there was a page back there. But I didn't want to pick it up during the phone call. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. You know, the pages are actually kind of thick on the ground. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort hey, on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Follow. Sure, whatever you say, mysterious graffiti. You've yet to lead me wrong. Ooh, this is fun. Can we have a fight up here? I would like to have a fight up here. Can we push this barrel? Yes! <laughs> can we push these barrels? Oh, ooh, can we push this pipe? Ugh, no, that's too heavy for him. We can mantle it. The darkness that was pursuing me hmm. stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Going. Nope. Ow, that's a bad bridge. Stop. Ow! All right, you know what? Oh, okay, we're down. Some sort on the opposite shore. Oh, now. I hoped I could find a car from there. All right. I got to make more of an effort to stay alive during these encounters. Otherwise, this is gonna this is gonna turn into a bit of a slog. 
If you've watched my Bioshock LP, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, well, you know, it's just that this bridge is not up to code. That's the only problem. was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Okay. Let's try one of these. That was certainly effective. Whoop. We're fighting a bridge! <laughs> back up! Back up! Flare! What else we got? Fair amount of stuff, actually. Quit throwing girders at me! It's really uncalled for. Excuse me. Ha! <laughs> Wheelbarrow! Barrel! Ow! Oh, come on. Some sort of really? Security. All the way back? Alright, that's it. I'm using everything. No more mercy. No encounter kills me twice. Probably would be more effective to just book it up to the next checkpoint. Okay. We're gonna get right in the middle of all this. Look at all, summon, and then flash out. Flare. Watch for the wheelbarrow. There it is. Dodge that. I don't know what good that did. <laughs> I think we're clear. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she. I don't think her door's all that secure. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a <laughs> smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Run! Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner! Let's get out of here. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. Of course he was. All the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Heavy duty flashlight. The protagonist. Heavy, heavy duty flashlight. This was I want anything it. But. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Please? Am I already using the heavy-duty flashlight? I can't be. Why can't I, um... I desire this. Oh, you have to hold down E for a while. Okay. Oh, okay, this doesn't look great. Let's loot the place before we open the door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see some hiding corners that are probably not going to protect us very well. I think that's all there is here. But we have these large fuel canisters. I'm sure we can find some way to use those to our advantage. Let's open the gate and start the encounter. Oh, we have taken and flying barrels. Ow! You know what? Here, you want to throw things? We'll throw things. Okay, I guess I guess we're clear.
Yeah, I got a bigger flashlight. How do you... What is that thing you're holding anyway? Oh, okay. Flare! Wake! Flare! Okay, where's the other one? There you are. This is dangerous! In light, you can hurt them. Yeah, we figured that out. Thank you, Mysterious Graffiti. Ooh. Night Springs? We take the Let's see if I can get a decent angle on this. Unaware that they are merely a That'll work. This seems like the perfect time to stop and watch TV. And horror. All too often, the stars are right. In Night Springs. Legitimately, the Twilight Zone is, is Twilight Zone is one of my favorite TV series. Not going to say it's all good, but I enjoyed it. Alvin Durleth, that feels like a reference. Oh, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durleth, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. No, no, no. Participant Should observation. Yeah, exactly. Get in there. In short, it would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durleth. Well... I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Human sacrifice. Oh, here, let me show you with a kiss. I, um, uh, I... <laughs> what, what did you... Ooh! Oh, he gets to be a brood mother. Not entirely sure he deserved that. And such quests always bear fruit. Night springs. All right. Well, that was entertaining. Anyway, back to our doom. Or we can sit and listen to some more audio. The bulldozers. Oh, by the way. Garden <laughs> rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. I mean, what are bulldozers, except industrial dragons, right? Ow. Oh. Let's uh, make sure we've got everything we can possibly get out of here. Flares, please. Okay, we got ammo and batteries over there. It's not going to let us... No, it's not going to let us get all the way across. Hey! Are you the bulldozer we were told about? woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Back up. All of you get back. No! Move! Through them quickly so we can get out of the way again. Okay, we need we need flashbangs. Whoop. The good news is it will take out some of them for us. 
Nice. Not quite clear. Yeah, come on, step up. Anybody else? Clear. That went better than expected. I actually really love that encounter. I think bulldozers are great boss fights. They need to be in more games. I'm probably just an orc at heart, though. Let's see, more flares, thank you. Come on, run, Wake, run! There we are. Okay, what's coming up next? Okay, we got a lot of extra batteries. We should probably start using them more often. Oh, cinematic. I was expecting a driving sequence. This is fine, too. I have never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. So during the daytime, when it's safe, his plan is to go into a place where it's dark all the time. Okay, sure, sure. The coal mine wasn't far now. Yes, that's, that's very cinematic, thank you. 